First off, what on earth is a rainbow table, and why do we need them? We've been looking at um, you know, different free tools and things that you could use, and I, I try to stick to all the free tools, none of the the pay ones. But um, you know, for things like um, you know, decrypting or recovering lost passwords or hacking passwords, um, we talked about a brute force attack and a dictionary attack, and making your own dictionaries and using a little bit of social engineering to get. You know, to make your own dictionaries with keywords that would relate to a company or organization. Um, but a lot of you know more sophisticated, more modern operating systems have hardened themselves against you know brute force attacks like Active Directory and Windows using an account lockout threshold, and you can do the same thing in Linux. Um, that that dramatically reduces the effectiveness of brute force, and you know people, but you know by forcing things like password complexity and, and long passwords, people can. Um, Harden, you know, networks against uh, dictionary attacks as, as well. You know, not not using commonly used words, but one of the things we haven't really done yet is, is used anything with rainbow tables. And rainbow tables is another way that you can try to decrypt something. And there's, a, you know, again, there's a constant escalation or warfare between security people and hacker people back and forth. And I guess it really kind of benefits everybody because technology just continuously evolves as this war goes on, or perceived war, whatever. But um, one of the, the primary defenses you can employ against rainbow tables is, you know, using a cryptographic system or operating system that, you know, uses a salt algorithm and hash. Um, but let's, you know, let's, I've, I've got some Wikipedia articles and I by no means, um, you know, my, my background is not in hard math or anything. I'm, I'm just, you know, computer information systems and um, so I, I really don't understand this other than in kind of simple layman's terms but basically um, you know think about all the the possible uh, combinations or you know you know mutations or variations of values and an alphanumeric and symbolic uh, key if you were doing cryptography well if you had a system that's fast enough you could go through all those random combinations billions trillions quadrillions whatever they are and eventually, if you tried them all, you'd find, you know, you'd find what the password was. You'd find the key. Okay, well, that could take a really long time, even on a really fast computer. So, basically, I'm just going to Wikipedia. I know a lot of people, yeah, Wikipedia is no good, but hey, it's free. It's there, and it does do a pretty good job of explaining it in layman's terms. Um, so please, you know, use your good friend Google and use Wikipedia to educate yourself on these things. But you know, basically, the the gist of it, the general idea behind it, in layman's terms, of a rainbow table, it's going to save the computer a lot of time in trying to come up with all those random combinations and calculations because it's already done for the computer. And uh, I've already downloaded a rainbow table, a very simple, but this is not a very large one. In the zip file, it's you know about 400 meg, a little bit less than 400 meg. Good sized rainbow tables can be like 4 gig, 5 gig, 8 gig, you know, 32 gig, 60, I mean, you know, huge. And it's a trade off. Um, it's less demanding on the CPU, but it's going to consume a lot more storage space in terms of, you know, so if, if this is something that you did a lot and you were going to use a lot of rainbow tables and you wanted it to be effective against larger, more complex passwords, I'd recommend getting a huge hard drive, uh, you know, f and just carrying that thing around for your rainbow tables, a good fast hard drive, USB 3 or USB 2, maybe like a 2 terabyte drive or something, and you could put a lot of different rainbow tables on it and use it. But so that's kind of the breakdown of what a rainbow table is, and of course, you know, for every offense, there's sort of a defense out there, and remember we said that the defense was a salt. Well, again, use your good friend Google and Wikipedia, and a salt is to, you know, random bits um, created, we, we talked a little bit before about a one-way hash. And basically, you know, trying to create an algorithm that is, you know, sort of non-reversible. Because if you can figure out what was done to create a password, whatever math was done on it, you know, however it was ciphered and, and scrambled, if you can figure out what was done, then you can undo it. And yet there are techniques using prime numbers and randomization based on, like, you know, seeding with the system clock value. There's, there are techniques that you can use in cryptography where you can create sort of a non-reversible mathematical operation or algorithm or function. All right, and you know, uh, assault also plays into that. Um, you know, and again, I'm I'm explaining this in layman's terms because basically I only understand it in layman's terms. I'm not a hardcore mathematician, but um, you know, I do find it incredibly interesting. And if that's your background, I you know, I think you could probably spend a long time just being fascinated 
by some of these aspects of of computer security. But it's there, it's freely available, the information's out there on Wikipedia. The tool that we're going to use is freely down, downloadable. Just go to ofcrack.org. I made a little bookmark here. All right, and you can go here, and it's a free Windows tool, and, and they've also got some more sophisticated pay tools if you want to download them. But I'll, I'll go to their download page. They have a help and tutorial there explaining things. Um, I'm just going to cover the basics today because that's all I really use. But um, you can download their tools. They have a few rainbow tables that you can download and you know that work with off crack um, of course there's you know, Linux versions as, as well as Windows versions um, a live CD version you know how much I love pen drive Linux and you know how much I love the people who have you know but um, if you've got pen drive Linux and you're a hardcore pen drive Linux fan you know I am and I'm a major fan fanboy um, then you can download this and, and keep it right on your flash drive and if you've got a big enough flash drive 32 or 64 gig or 128 gig flash drive you put your rainbow tables on your flash drive and you got it all right there in your pocket is that a rocket in your pocket but anyway I you know just to try this out don't why don't you download the smallest table and won't take you that long to download and then if you want to download some of the larger ones there's free ones you can find online you can buy them there's ones you can pay for there's, there's all kinds of options there but just to get a basic understanding of what a rainbow table is and how you use it with some software well, why not grab the smallest rainbow table and you know some free software it won't cost you a dime to to just kind of introduce yourself to the ideas and, and to learn it right and that's kind of nice you know uh, nothing beats free education so um, of course if you already know these things and use them frequently I'm not sure why you're watching this video maybe you can give us some pointers <laughs> for starters download and install of crack and at least one rainbow table so with a little bit of an introduction or foundation um, and some explanations laid down let's go ahead and get started Downloaded the tool. It should be a fairly easy install for you. It was for me, but I'll go through the process again. So if you want to do it with me, you can kind of follow along. So I'm just going to go ahead and run it. And you know, there's you know, depends on whether I have user account control turned on or off, but you may have to confirm it. And then notice that you can, if you want to, download. And you know, I'm in Windows 7. There is no one specifically labeled Windows 7 here, but the Vista table will work just fine for Windows 7 as well. If you have good luck, you can try to download this. Uh, in the install routine I had really bad luck with that it didn't work for me so I just went ahead and downloaded the table separately and that way I can just install the software either way you do it you're going to need some kind of a rainbow table and if you were in Windows 7 or Vista you'd need this one and if you were in Windows XP you'd need this one okay so either way but I'm gonna go just install it since I've already downloaded the tables you know I'm not gonna do that wherever you want to put it I'm going with the defaults next 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 all right so there's that and then here's my rainbow table right here right the zip file next extract the rainbow tables you have downloaded to a folder once you've got of crack installed again you want to make sure that you you know download your rainbow tables and I've downloaded these for Win Windows 7 it's the one for Vista but also works for Windows 7 so I just want to decompress it and I'm just going to extract it here do it on my desktop. Um, you know, this is a really small set of rainbow tables, so I can't really do very large or very complex hashes with it. You know, it's just some simple pre-computed uh, computations and calculations um, on you know various mutations on an algorithm. But if I had the space and I had the time, again, you know, I could, I could download much larger rainbow tables that would be capable of you know cracking much larger hashes and more complex passwords. So I'm just extracting it. It's about you know, a little bit less than 400 meg, so almost about 400 meg there. All right, so there are my rainbow tables, and I'll just get rid of the compressed file. The penny for your thoughts. I just dropped a penny there. But. All right, so I'll leave that on my desktop. It's probably the easiest place to see. I'm going to go ahead and open up Offcrack. Third, run Offcrack and load the rainbow tables you previously extracted. And one of the first things I want to do before I can really do anything is, is load a rainbow table. So if I click on tables over here, notice I have all these tables. And again, if I had downloaded any of those, that would be fine. But I'm going to click on install for an external table. And I'm going to go ahead and let me look, go here, click on tables Vista free. I'm going to click on OK. And when I do that, notice it shows up here. So now instead of a red dot, I've got a green dot. And there are my rainbow tables. I'm going to click on OK. So with that all set, notice that this changed down here. And so now it appears. And you could leave that. Um, 
if it doesn't have to update the display, you know, it may run actually a little tiny bit faster if you did that. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. I'm, I'm not on a fast machine anyway. I'm on a really old, five or six year old laptop held together with duct tape. It's a bare minimum, 1.6 gigahertz dual core with only two gigs of RAM. So it's not a lot of, but obviously, you know, the more RAM you've got, the faster the CPU, the faster you'll be able to do things like this. So imagine if you have an i7 and eight gigs of RAM or something, you're gonna be in real good shape for you know using rainbow tables. I'm on a really old laptop here, but yeah, I still like my old laptop. I'm, you know, I'm I'm holding the battery in with duct tape. It still works. So Rainbow Table's loaded. It's all set now. Now let's try cracking and decrypting a simple example hash with our Rainbow Tables. Now that we have our our Rainbow Tables loaded here, I'm going to uh, use one of the examples that they give you on the website. The same people who you know give you the free tool of crack and the, the rainbow tables that you can try also have a web page you can go to just to kind of play with hashes and, and passwords and things. So you can use an experimental, you know, sort of a um a, a free hash algorithm on this page here. So if I do this, I'm just gonna type a password in here and I'll use my pet's name, T Bone. <clears throat> of course we should never do that. Um, that's bad right there because it makes it susceptible to a dictionary attack and also it's not really complex Should be a combination of uppercase and lowercase and numbers and symbols and at least eight or you know ten characters long We know it's not a complex password <clears throat> But I have a very slow computer um, It's a only has two gigabytes of RAM. It's a old five six year old laptop held together with duct tape um, Literally, that's how I keep the battery from falling out and <laughs> But it still works, and I still use it. So look, you know, if you have an i7, eight gigs of RAM, you know, fast CPU, a modern computer, this is going to go even faster for you. And also, I have a very small rainbow table. Um, but you know, if you had a larger rainbow tables and things, then you could do much larger, much more complex passwords. But I, I want to keep this tutorial, you know, short if I can. So we're just going to use a simple password as it as an example. But if you're learning this with me and going through this, then you know, go ahead and try maybe just a small password at first. So this is the hash that's generated, you know, using the algorithm and the math um, on this page based on that, you know, that password there. That's the hash that would be generated. So I'm going to copy it as a string, and I'll leave that web page. You know, I'll just minimize it, leave it running there in the background. I'm going to go here now to off crack, and the first thing I'm going to do is load, and I'm going to do a single hash, and this time I'm just going to paste a single hash in here, and click on OK. Okay, so it's loaded now. Here's the hash. And there's the LM hash and NT hash. And remember when Microsoft went from XP, um, you know, the they went from the land manager, if you know, from a more, a more simple hash algorithm to a more complex algorithm when they went to Vista and Windows 7. So those are a bit more difficult, but we'll leave that there. Let's see if I can stretch this out some. We'll put that here, move this over here some. All right, so now I'm all set. The rainbow tables are loaded. The hash is loaded. I'm just going to click on crack and let my computer crack away at it. And you can see you know what's going on as far as RAM and, and CPU usage all right didn't take that long that's because I used a very simple non complex password but still even a very long and complex password if your rainbow table was large enough and your system was fast enough wouldn't necessarily take you forever to crack right so it's kind of a fun fun tool to you know play around with and maybe just kind of you know learn about the concept or the ideas of rainbow tables and how they're used um, now another thing that you can do is you can load the local security account manager so that's what we'll do next in this fifth example you will learn that you can decrypt local windows 7 vista and xp passwords with of crack and your rainbow tables all right so we looked at cracking you know just an example hash on their website some other things that we could do password dump session file an encrypted sam remember the security account manager database it's the local sam hive it's part of the you know the registry hierarchy in Windows. The easiest one, the quickest one for us is going to be local SAM, so I'm going to use that as an example, or I could do a remote SAM and connect to a SAM across the network and try to crack that, but um, in this case I'll just do the local SAM database. So this is going to load all of the user accounts and the password hashes on the local system. And it, once again, remember, you could be carrying this around on a flash drive with Pendrive Linux and just plug it into any computer that you wanted to run this on, along with your rainbow tables. Okay, so after a little pop-up there. So we've loaded the accounts now that are in the local SAM. And now if I want to, I can go ahead and click on crack. And let's see what happens. Fast forward.
Fast forward. I'm going to fast forward a little bit through some of these frames. But again, on a fast machine, it wouldn't really take you that long. You can see that I've already got three passwords. I've got the administrator password, and I made all these simple passwords so they wouldn't take so long. But if these people were security conscious and they were wise, of course, you know, it might take you a little bit longer if they're using complex passwords. But I've got the administrator password, which is password, um, you know, guest, which is empty and disabled, the user, uh, Starbuck, whose password is Apollo. You can see where the progress is. And again, I'll fade out and fade back in so you don't have to stare at pretty much a blank screen for the next 10 minutes. And we'll come back when, when some more are cracked. And still working here. And you can see we've got a couple of, you know, more passwords. Um, you know, it's been, you know, probably, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes or so. It's, it's taken a while. Fast forward. All right, and Ofcrack is finally finished. And in this case, it pretty much found all my passwords. There were a few that either they were blank passwords or they may have been too complex for my tiny little rainbow table to handle. But you could use larger rainbow tables. Like I said, uh, if you're going to do this a lot, why don't you get maybe one of those, you know, two terabyte size uh, USB drives and get it for less than 100 bucks on Amazon.com. I'm not getting paid to say this. Or Tiger Direct or Pricewatch or Newegg or wherever it is you like to buy your stuff. And you can download rainbow tables all over the place. Just Google rainbow tables. You'll find some free, some you can buy. But, you know, you can have lots of fun with that, right? <laughs> but, you know, even, even, even a very small rainbow table with just some free tools that don't cost anything, I was still able to get, you know, pretty much most of the passwords in my local security, or, or, you know, account manager or SAM database and the SAM Hive here. So... A nice free tool and you know free rainbow tables and thanks to the folks that produce off crack.